Hello! It's Valentine's Day again, the one day of the year where we um, commemorate that massacre or something, I don't know. Um, you know, I nearly didn't do a Valentine's special this year, because much like 2014, where I skipped it, the old pound emporiums just had boring stuff or stuff I've already reviewed, and that's rubbish. But then I found some old stuff from a while ago that I thought fit the bill quite nicely, and I re-bought an old object in the hope that it's a bit less shit this time round. I don't think it's going to be. But anyway, let's get in the mood with some scatter table decorations of lovely hearts. There we are. That, that's amazing. That, that's so Valentine's-y. There's just lumps of plastic in the shape of the uh, traditional love heart type thing. And to be honest, I think I've just spent money on Valentine's Day litter, but there we go. Right, so! Who needs a vajazzle kit from Poundland, then? The answer is no fucking human who has ever existed. If you don't know what a vajazzle kit is, good for you. Please turn this video off immediately before I ruin your life. It is a combination of vagina and jazz and lee. Because it jazzes up a vagina and is French. Um, yes, yeah, so the idea is you can put some shiny things near your hoo-ha and then you probably just wish you fucking hadn't, to be honest with you. Look at this woman, has she been stung on the lips or something? It looks like she's got a facial infection. Anyway, private and confidential. Pretty smooth. R really, that's... that's... no. No, it's the total opposite of that. Butterfly. Well, that's the design. Ah, that means the spare one I've got over here might have a different design. Hang on. Oh, it has. Marvellous. Oh, good God. The other one is Lush Lips. Lovely. Oh, well, I thought they were all the same. I'm glad I got two now. These have been sitting around for bloody years. I mean, genuinely years I've had these, and I've always wanted to uh, do a type of sketch with them, but frankly it's so obscene I'm never going to get around to actually filming it. So let's just look at them and feel ill. Exclusive designs. Yeah, that's why everybody was rushing off to Poundland then. Butterfly-shaped body art gems. That's one word from right. How does this work? Do we really want to know? Probably not, but we're going to look anyway. Pretty smooth, the jazzling body art gems are a great way of helping you bring out your natural sparkle and style. Because nothing says natural like some shit stickers stuck near your genitals. Directions for use. Ensure the skin is clean, dry and free from any oils or moisturisers. And when you know where you would like the sticker to sit... <laughs> I bet you're at home you're thinking where you'd like them to go, but no, I'm not putting them in the bin. Peel from the backing paper. <coughs> Marvellous. Hold firmly against the skin for 30 seconds to ensure the sticker adheres to the skin. Yep, and there is, <sighs> frankly, the sort of uh, thing that children draw in the back of science textbooks. Well, for any textbook, if your school was like mine. When you wish to remove the sticker, soak the area with warm soapy water before peeling away from the skin. Soak the area for longer if it doesn't come away. <laughs> <coughs> Oh my goodness, I've got a bit of a cough and that set it off. Oh dearie me. So you're telling me you might stick these above your nether regions then not be able to get them off. Oh man, that's a gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Warning, products contains PVC. <laughs> Do not use this if you have a known allergy to this material or any fucking sense in your head. Don't use an irritated, sore, thin or broken... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, oh I've been wounded down below. I'm going to cover it up with a vajazzle kit, right? I don't know how I'm going to demonstrate this, good grief. I was talking about this once with uh, Mr. Weeble, uh, the internet man, and he suggested I vajazzle a ham, which <laughs> I was going to go along with till it occurred to me that a ham you probably wouldn't be able to stick anything to, and it would be a big waste of a ham. So sorry, Johnty, I did like the idea, but uh, not going to happen. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> space moth. It's not a butterfly, that's a space... I know a space moth when I see one. Right. Let's vajazzle my hand. Again, one of those phrases that I can't believe I was just effectively paid to say. <sighs> I imagine Google turning off the ads on this video actually as a result of this. Anyway, what have we got? This sort of horrible insect uh, that we've got to sort of peel off here. It's working, it hasn't... oh. <laughs> I say it hasn't broken, but it kind of has, but that's actually a separate part, so uh, that can go back on there. And this is already unpleasantly fiddly. So this is like a professional, so do some people go to like a beauty salon and get this done and then wonder what the fuck is wrong with their life? There we are. I shall, I shall not form that shape with my hand, we don't need that going on. Got to press it down for 30 seconds apparently. Screw that, I'm just going to stick it on and uh, hope for the best. 
which I appreciate is perhaps not a fair shake of Poundland's vajazzle joy, but uh, there we go. <sighs> Tremendous, must be Valentine's Day. Um, and the other one, Lush Lips. Uh, no, no, we're not going to do the uh, <clears throat> commenting on different types of lips. So, oh, for f what? That looks like it's a bloody UFO. Look, <laughs> this is like um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Richard Dreyfus has become so obsessed with UFOs, he's sticking them on vaginas. If you're watching this, Richard Dreyfus, um, sorry, right, <clears throat> let's peel this one off. That's a lot easier. And that can go on like, oh dear, oh no, oh, 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 nearly had it. Um, there we are. <sighs> Marvellous. The worst thing is the comments are now going to be full of people saying, at last the cunt got some of those. So let's move on to the next item then. Well, there aren't really any. <laughs> In fact, I went back in time and got some love crackers. And by back in time, I mean to the 99p stores in the Castle Mall in Norwich, which feels a bit like going back in time. And I believe it'll probably be a pound land soon, because they bought a 99p store. God, it's confusing. Anyway, somebody at one point in history thought it'd be a good idea to make love crackers. Presumably because they had some fucking cardboard left over from something. So yeah, as if Christmas crackers themselves weren't inexplicable enough, we've now got love crackers. I've done these before, I'm sure, and I remember they were an utter fucking embarrassment. So we shall see how that works this time. Ready? Butterfly versus lips, go! Oh, yeah, you don't really get much of it. You get, you get a small book, a love notebook. Mm, that just seems different to what I remember. So there's a snap. You don't get a hat. You don't get a Valentine's hat. What did the stamp say to the envelope on Valentine's Day? I'm stuck on you. <laughs> Same people who write the Christmas ones then. Still not dead, more's the pity. And a love notebook which is basically just a shitty little plain notebook, so you can write little love messages like... And it'll be marvellous. Right. What's in the other one? I dread to actually think. Bang! And this time the joke is... I'll read it off camera so as not to spoil it. What did the boy cat say to the girl cat on Valentine's Day? The hat is too big. What? No, I'm joking. You're perfect for me! Perfect, because it's like a cat and he's purr. Because these things mustn't be funny by law, apparently. And also, rather than... Oh, God almighty, why is this? These were 50p each! Oh, my God. <clears throat> right, so, yeah, there's only one of these. It is a dice thing that you're going to make. I'm probably not going to bother here, because it's obviously not going to fit together correctly. Um, and then you roll it, and your six options are massage my, <clears throat> caress my, <clears throat> kiss my, <clears throat> surprise, <clears throat> tickle my, or your choice. Of course, what this actually lacks is the other dice to say what body part. So is it something where they're originally expecting to sell these in, I don't know, groups of six, so you'd get specific ones? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I also don't give a flying toss. Right, let's end it up with a look in what is now classic, because I've decided so, Romantic Heart. More than 100 challenges for pure romance. And also, they're in Spanish as well. So, you know, bilingual and joys. If you haven't seen this before, um, there's a pair of tweezers, and there's a load of things written here. And they're supposed to be suggestions of what you and your partner can get up to on Valentine's Day. And by partner, I mean lover, not tennis partner. That probably would ruin the sport for you. And this one's long. <clears throat> Prepare a wonderful bath or foot bath for your partner. They're quite different things. First, lay candles around the bath and switch the light off. Call your partner and escort <laughs> her <laughs> into the bath in a romantic way. <laughs> that involves waving your arms above your head going whoop, 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 like uh, Zoidberg from Futurama. Um, it's, it just amused me, because if you did this with a foot bath, that would probably seem really quite strange. Let's not get into that. No, I'm going to reject that Valentine suggestion. Give us another one, tweezers of joy. Oh, God, I want to go for that, but I can't seem to get it. Give your partner a relaxing scalp massage. <laughs> what? 
I, I, I'm starting the, to, well, is, that's relaxing, is it? I always seems slightly unpleasant. To, oh, I don't know. What if they've got dandruff? Oh, God, this is very poor so far. Come on. Step your game up, Valentine's heart. Conjure up a small gift, using the devil's magics, which makes it obvious to your partner that you thought about her or him today. Oh, and that small gift could be a bogey. Hey, you made it yourself, and that's where the love is. Go on, I'm going to do two more, and if these doesn't give me the best suggestions for Valentine's Day ever, I will not be fucking surprised. Go. Pop a delicious piece of candy in your mouth and pass it on to your partner. Take turns to suck it until the candy has gone. Right. If one of you's got a cold, you're both going to have a cold. There's no other way around that. That's just slightly unpleasant, really, isn't it? Um, it's... Uh, 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 who made this again? Uh, oh, a bunch of maniacs. Ah, now it all makes sense. Right, let's go for this twisted up one in the corner. Oh, there's two. We've got to do them both. It's the law. Today you can cuddle your partner, but refrain from having sex. Subscribe for more. Look. Seriously, public service announcement. In the unlikely event ah, you do ah, get hold of some of these, for God's sake, don't actually use them as a chisel kicks. They hurt like hell coming off. And that's going to ruin your Valentine's Day and probably the rest of your life.